Do they not call the plumber the Alaskan plumber? What's up guys, Edquarters here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Human, a horror game made for the Halloween Game Jam. And it starts off, it's a bit weird, we've got deep web vid hacks going on, stream hacks. We're in some sort of browser, and it says, The following footage was captured during an attempt to hack and record a government video stream. Previously captured footage suggests the man filming, Paul, works for a secret sector of frequency testing facility located deep in the Alaskan wilderness. The program is no longer being funded, thus Paul is sent to notify the employees and have them leave the premises as his supervisors monitor what unfolds once he arrives. I've taken the liberty of subtitling the video, but other than that, this footage is completely undoctored. Hmm, right. So, um, that's a nice conceit. Let's, let's start. Can you hear me, Paul? All right, listen, I want you to get inside, find the workers and notify them of our funding issue. If they ask any questions, we'll get their equipment moved out later. Just get them out there for now. Then I want you to go to the back, find the antennas and turn off the power supply. This is very important. Do not forget this before you leave. Okay, I can turn off the power supply. I'll probably talk over some of the talks because our radio um, signal seems to be awful. It's all garbly. But it's very snowy. I mean, a horror set in the Alaskan snowy wilderness? That's never been done. The snow and the horror. Wait, the thing. The thing was like that. Oh, we can sprint, thank God. I thought we were going to be confined to walking at that speed. And the snowflakes look very nice. And it's very dark. I don't know why we didn't come in the day. Or maybe it's like the time when you don't get much day up in the Alaskan wilderness. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got like the scanning lines, the interlacing lines of the... Oh, that's nice effect. I like that. Apparently, I think it was one person made all of this, all the textures and stuff, so it's quite impressive. Oh, there I am. But I... Am I wearing a head cam? Where's the camera? Oh, I can zoom. Oh, that's nice. Hello, feet. How are you doing today? I don't look that warmly dressed, really. Where's that light coming from? Because it's definitely shining on my front there, but I'm in shut. Okay, well, that's that's odd to start with. Okay, light doesn't work. Okay, well, whatever. Scary lights. Hello. Oh, we got a flashlight because it's a horror game and... Horror games obligatorily have to have a flashlight, otherwise it's not horror. What's this then? Hello? Hello? Period or time interval? Frequency? Ah, frequency. That's what they were looking for out here. Gate time. Ah, all the mod comms in here. Oh, we can go in here. There's some tellies. Oh, they've got the Microsoft and, uh, and the no smoking sign. That's great. Nice. Very detailed. I mean, the walls are just walls, but oh, that's a bit of a useless space. There's all sort of scratches on the floor. Is there some sort of beast? Oh, hello. Although our focus in the past few years has been primarily in auroral research, we have observed a notable difference in climate since our research began nearly a decade ago due to our experimentation. Really? You were examining the aurora and you've caused weather changes. Interesting. We cannot say our antenna are capable of controlling climate or weather, but they certainly have the ability to influence changes in the ionosphere, thus modifying weather patterns slightly. Hmm. I don't know if that's true. I'd also like this particular research log to note the past few weeks the frequency output has been much higher, suggesting an atmospheric source is wirelessly feeding power to them. At the moment, we have not yet identified the source. Is it some Lovecraftian monster? Any chance? 42% charge? Well, they can't have been dead long. Should have run out of battery by now. If, um... Oh. Hello. What are those things everywhere? Oh. Gemini keycard. Oh, it's, it's basically Doom. Oh. Must have missed a door. Back this way, then. To the door we go. Oh. Hello? Hello? Someone's been messing with the cabinets. They have. Those weren't there before. Ah, it's up here. What was that? Hello? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh. What the fuck? We got some distortion go. Oh. Hello. There was definitely a big shadow there. Big old shadowy figure. And we seem to have done the uh, dishonored blink. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Don't ignore me. Okay, mate. No. 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 Oh, I can't leave. Is that how it is? Is that how it is? You're gonna redline me and make me stare at these hanging, hanging bodies. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm not sure I like hanging bodies. They're not my faves, especially when they've got cloth sacks over them. And a swinging slightly in a non-existent breeze. That's always my least favourite when I'm at an auroral research station, to be honest. And this is a lot of office furniture for this space. I mean, wh who needs this many filing cabinets? Like, in one room. Oh, there's another thing. All our equipment has recently been turning off, all at once, as though there were a power surge. However, when the re-event occurs, uh, nothing unusual seems to be the cause. On a side note, we have been experiencing frequency interference in recent weeks. This has caused us to slow down research efforts, as we have no control over experimentation when this happens. Ah. Huh. Using one of our spectra- I wonder what they do when experimentation stops. Play cards? In the cold? Using one of our spectrograms, we have recorded an odd signal which we believe to be the source of the interference. Some of us suspect it could be Russian, others think it may just be excessive ambient energy. This doesn't explain where it's coming from, however. Always blame the Russians. Always blame the Russians. Alright, so we just stomp over all the DVD players. Now what are they? Driven to madness, weak in mind, useless. Interesting. These people were mad. That's why they hung themselves. Yep. Great, that's an actual blue screen. There's nothing hidden in that. I thought there might be secrets. But there wasn't. Oh, there's some steps. Let's go up those. Hello. Hmm. Interesting. Why are the windows there? They don't look out at anything. Who are we observing in there? Are we just looking at machinery? Hmm. The mystery thickens. The mystery thickens. Office. Ah, what the hell? Hmm. Hmm. Do we follow the shadow? Is that what we do? Where is my objective markers? Anyway, whoever designed this place was just not the best architect. Let's follow the shadow, shall we? Your spirit shall break, but I will restore it. Oh, will you know? Okay. That's nice, Mr. Man in the radio. Oh, our flashlight is awful. Are you so sure you exist in reality? Mm, yeah. Oh. Hello. Right, so there's some... Oh, you can... Oh, I can jump. Oh, that's nice. I love jumping. It's... It's... The... Oh. Oh, that's a little bit red. Jumping is like one of my favourite activities in games. Just look at that knee, knee bend. That's some good jumping technique. Oh, I'm looking at that from the wrong way around. High frequency active aurora research program. Oh. They've actually got notes. I mean, they're the same notes. God, they printed them off a lot of times. Oh no, some more stuff. Here's the grand dupe of the internal... Oh, whatever. Ugh. Science. Oh, another thing. The frequency interference we've been experiencing seems to be coming from below the surface of the Earth. Is it... Is it aliens versus predator? Is that what we're doing? We've not yet pinpointed a location, but we are picking up more activity on sonic monitoring equipment. Sonic? It's it's Sonic! It's a blue hedgehog under the Alaskan ice. I've not experienced this, but others here have been complaining of hearing high-pitched ringing. Not in the ears, like tinnitus, but in their mind, as an internal sound they can't seem to get rid of. Our theory is perhaps some are sensitive to these frequencies, so much that it's capable of physically or psychologically affecting them, perhaps. Yeah, that's a interesting theory you got there, Mr. Mr. Science. Oh, you got a Tesla, Tesla biography, and a static -y screen. It's not moving, it's just frozen like that. You've got a ghost and it's not even plugged into anything. Where are its cables? How is it how is it getting power? 
Oh, it's just too spooky. Oh, and there's some maths. So we've got the seven, carry the two, and uh, the two to the power of PP, her uh, PP, X minus two, X plus two. Is, this all seems right. I think you missed, yeah, you missed a six there. Should be a six, that's why you went wrong. Yep. And what about, oh. Oh, it's red. Oh, hello. And that's that's what the fun of maths is confidential. That's what the fun of maths is, kids. Maths has the power to transport you literally to another room. The frequency interference continues. We have not done any work for the past four days. No one has left. For some reason, I feel as though we're drawn to this place. We must stay. Oh, sleep has been difficult. Our sanity seems to be slipping. I feel numb yet cold. I feel I know less than I once did. My memories, my knowledge, my intelligence. What is this? What is this indeed? And why have you got so many tablets? And why are they all at 42% charge? Ah, is this a Douglas Adams? Is this Douglas Adams? 42, the answer to life, the universe and everything. That's what it is. Was that... Were we here? That was where we were before. Oh, teleporty. Oh. Oh. No. Um, okay. Uh, so... This way. Into this room. Hello. Hello. Nope. Mystery man doesn't want to talk to us. Oh, you're living a lie. They've lied to you. Great. Oh, we've got another Gemini key card. Alpha Sector. You know it's proper science when they name everything after Greek letters. I'm unsure of what's real. I'm going to upload this to our closed network as we've been instructed so you may read it. I see no point, however. No research has been done. We are waiting. We can't leave. Why can't we leave? I try and try. The door never gets any closer. This can't be real. This is not reality. I don't know if I'm hallucinating. It says there's another world. Yeah, yeah what you got is a simple, like, tele oh, another Tesla bug. They really love Tesla in this, in this station. In a rural research station. So t Tesla did work with electricity. That's basically the atmosphere. Oh, no. Sad. Uh, we go this way to get to the drippy red pipe. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Um, did they not call the plumber, the Alaskan plumber, to get the blood drips in? Oh, those are very teardroppy blood drips. I thought blood like dripped in a more platelet-y fashion. Hmm, interesting. Yep, you need to get a plumber in. I'll, I'll call one when I get some mobile reception. Right. Hey, Alpha Sector keycard. That's what we had. That's how I like it when keycards work. You find them and they're in the right order. Oh, we got another one. Theta Sector. Okay. A door. It's a door we've opened. The frequency, it communicates with us. We brought it here and you knew it was going to happen. We can't leave because it's not let us leave. You knew this would happen. It's a portal. Takes your mind, not mine anymore, and your ability to spell. So, um, you're going to do well. You're going to be fine, mate. You're going to be fine. What have you brought here? Yeah, it's probably like some Lovecraftian uh, old god that you've awakened beneath the ice, isn't it? It's always the old gods. I mean, obviously, spoilers, but Ethan Carter, old god. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, no. No, thank you. Nope. Oh, bollocks. Um, oh, no, we can get out this way. Fantastic. Hello. Nope. Got nothing to say us. Yeah, Banishing of Ethan Carter. Old gods. Alan Wake. Old gods? I don't remember what Alan Wake was. Evil. Evil stuff. So, down here. Oh. Okay, then. Thanks, teleporter. Oh, there's more blood here. You should be immortal if you endure. Great, I've always wanted that. Do I have to... W I would not lie to you, all you know is a fabrication. Well, I've never seen you, and my only memory of people talking to me through intercoms, purely through intercoms, was in Bioshock, and you know what? They, they were lying to me, so um, I might not believe... Where am I going? It's so dark. Seriously? You only put, like, one light in? You need more lights. 
Why is it so dark? Oh, it's not dark that way. Because someone's drawn... Do you not yet question your reality? Well, a little bit, because I have been teleporting all over the place. And now there's giant neon glowing devil stuff on the floor. It feeds, came from my soul, our soul, soul is not safe, any soul, all soul. Hmm, that's great. Do we step on the neon thing? Teleport me to reality. No, we don't. Okay. Oh, it's red over here. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this red teleporty stuff. Hmm. Does that mean I need a crosshead screwdriver? I just put it in here and then I unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. Oh, it's like hotter or colder. No. Okay. Do I? Yes. We have unlocked hex hexagram five. Alert the masters. Oh. We've got circle squares. Great. What's this then? Bought this. You did it. I did it. We did it. Don't you think I know? No, man. Science. Oh, no. That's where we... <sighs> Bear with me. Bear with me. So we want to go back here. And then we don't want to go forward. We want to go that way. And then... We want to go... That way? This way. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're there. Woo! I worked my way through your teleport trick, old god. Old god. Lost souls, say goodbye. Hmm. Hmm. Up the stairs. The way the arrow points. Bonk a donk. Bonk a donk. Oh, we're gonna. Oh. Well, I want to go back. I don't like these War of the Worlds red tricks. Existence consists of what you see before you, or else has been an illusion placed upon humanity by my enemy. Who's your enemy, man? Who is it? I'll go sort him out for you if you let me go from the strange forest. Oh! Oh, that music! Oh, have you ever seen Under the Skin? It's like the music to that. Oh, so good. Okay, well, I, I, I'm thinking this is his, like, sanctum. And that's his misty tree place where he goes to chill out in the afternoons on a warm summer's eve. That's well, probably not a warm summer's eve in Alaska. Join me, we shall reign once again, you will be like a god. Oh, are you just Satan? Are you just straight up Satan? So, I think we've just got to move towards this really horrible hexagram. It must have cost loads. Is that why you had so few lights in the experimental auroral facility? Because you blew all your budget on red neon lights for this underground chamber? Is that it? Yes, follow, follow. Okay, I am a human. I will follow. Just like the title. Closer. Okay. Is, is Acquaint yourself. Is this close enough? Oh, that forest is a long way away now. I don't really want to go any closer. Because it looks like a giant foggy red thing to hell. But the game's going to make me. Okay, hello. You're very shiny. Hmm. Oh! My name is Lucifer. Your physical form shall be my home. I will roam freely in your domain. Dominion. Humanity shall understand the illusion they live as true suffering engulfs them. They will bow before me. Oh, Lucifer. Up to your old tricks. Human. Well, Lucifer. What are you like? Inhabiting people's bodies. It's very naughty. Well, that was quite fun. The the story, a little bit rubbish. Not rubbish, but a bit simple, isn't it? It's just, it's the devil. Oh, so evil. They lost their minds in the Alaskan wilderness because the devil made them. Why didn't the devil inhabit any of the other people? Did he need, like, an engineer to come out? Someone who was truly evil. Someone who was coming out to close down the facility. And then he could take root. Anyway, so yeah, it's your standard, your standard Lucifer tale. A Lucifer, playing fast and loose. Um, yeah, the, the gameplay itself, I quite like the tension it built throughout with the, the, the notes descending into madness. And uh, the teleporting thing was cool. I love it when games play with space in that way to mess with you. 
yeah, solid, solid six, seven out of ten. Nice one. Not the scariest game, but I don't think it was aiming for that, really. And it looked very pretty. If this was the work of just one person, as I think its page says it is, it's very impressive. Well done to you. So if you want to go and check it out yourself, I'll leave a link below in the description. That was Human. I've been Ed Quarters. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye for now.